What's up guys? So today we are going to be talking about the God Wars 2 items. So all of the items are finalized concepts. Uh, if you do have any feedback, then you can still, you know, give me your feedback and maybe some changes will be made based on that. But for the most part, the they are done and uh, the actual code stuff is about to start getting done. Uh, but let's, uh, let's get started. So I'll talk about these things first. These are the shield pieces. Um, so there are six total bosses and uh, two of them will drop chaotic, two of them will drop neutral pieces, two of them will drop lawful pieces, and then the last piece, the unaligned, will be dropped from all of the little minion thingies um, that you'll kill in the um, main room or whatever you want to call it. And then once you have four, you, you don't need two of each, it, you only need one of each, so once you have four pieces, you can make the paladin shield, which is going to be very similar to the one in classic, it is basically your in-game shield. Uh, definitely going to be a nice shield. And again, the stats and uh, requirements and special abilities and all that are still being finalized. Some of them are kind of obvious uh, or just kind of like, you know, self-explanatory. But uh, everything is still, uh, you know, everything other than the designs is still up for determination. So uh, we'll move on to Sliske. So Sliske will drop the chaotic showpiece. This is not the name of the boss, but the, the god that it's representing, Sliske. <laughs> Uh, we'll drop Chaotic Shield Piece, Shadow Darts, and Sliske's Essence. Sliske's Essence will be used to make Sliske's Shadow, which was a boost, uh, bo an item that boosted all of your combat stats similar to the Imbued Heart, Imbued Eye, and, and whatnot. So uh, it's, kind of, it's a familiar item, that's why it's not, it doesn't really have any options. It's just kind of a thing you'll use to make the things. Why are you messing... <laughs> If anybody is shout out to all the sky. Anyways, alright, so next up we have Zeros, which uh, again will drop Chaotic Shield Piece, the Necro Sword, which, oh, I forgot to, I'm just a dumb fucking beaver, didn't equip the Shadow Darts. Shadow Darts, yeah. Nice. They look like darts that are shadowy, yeah. Okay, alright. Pretend I did that naturally. Alright, Necro Sword. This is Necro Sword. Very cool. It is one handed. Paladin shield. I guess I didn't wield that either. Yeah. Next sword, nice fancy. Ripper Demon Claws. Red and Black Claws. Upgraded version of Dragon Claws. Yeah. Then we have of uh, from the uh, Sierra boss, which if you're not familiar, Sierra is a custom god from my server. Uh, blessed robe top and legs. Magic and prayer robes. Best in slot magic robes in the game, and nice chunk of prayer as well. Pretty, uh, pretty, you know, standard item. I've, uh, I'm pretty sure these are like, you know, I, I've done them before. They're very classic uh, private server robes. Sierra's blessing. Uh, not really a thing that you can see, but uh, the yeah, yeah, it's a very nice. Uh, basically, your best in slot blessing type item. Uh, and then we have Ul. Which is a uh, custom god along the lines of Sierra. And then you have Ice Tyrant Torso and Legs. This is best in slot range gear. And it also has melee bonus. So it is hybrid gear, but it is best in slot range. It's not best in slot melee. And then we have Ridge's Anchor. Which is just a nice big two-handed crush weapon. Very strong. And then for... Saren, we have crystallized gloves, which just kind of go good with the best in slot range gear. Just kind of made sense. And then we have the Hex Hunter crossbow. This thing is going to be fun. I guess I will talk about the, the abilities for this thing. It is, uh, if you're not familiar with Hex Hunter, it is it is a, a old concept from RuneScape 3 from Dungeoneering. Basically, it does a good damage against magic based monsters. So it's like the twisted bow, but it's going to be a crossbow. And can use bolts so like if you're using it against something that uses mage it'll do very good damage especially if you proc a bolt spec and then the last boss guthix which yeah guthix is all about not being in battle but uh you know it'll make sense lore wise once you see what it is so we have the staff of bounce which will have uh you yeah, know i'm not gonna talk about that no, i'm not gonna talk about it but staff bounce nice little staff and then the gather hammer Again, a two-handed crush weapon. Have a nice spec, as you can imagine. Very strong. So those are all of the God Wars 2 items.
All right, so let's talk about the bosses. So the first boss we have is Greg Wargovic, who is representing Sliske. Uh, again, I'm not going to talk about their mechanics, just kind of showing off what they look like. And then, again, it drops the Chaotic Shield piece, Shadow Darts, and then Sliske's Essence. Next up, we have Duke Orcus. Duke Orcus is representing Zaros. Drops the Chaotic Shield piece, Rip Demon Claws, and then the Necro Sword. Again, not going over mechanics, but you can kind of take some good guesses from this one. This was a uh, boss originally um, from the source. I believe they called it the Necromancer, but uh, it, it was very, it was, it was, it was absolutely perfect for the concept of Duke Orcus. And all of these NPCs are kind of based on real NPCs, except for the next one, which we'll talk about. So this is Jamian representing the goddess Sierra. So I did make two custom gods, and this was the first one. I've, I've mentioned the goddess Sierra many times with s certain random items. Sierra Brew is uh, a perfect example. She was also a god on God Wars, uh, or not God Wars 2, uh, on Revival 1, but I never really, like, made her a part of anything substantial. But this time I figured, why not? God Wars 2, full boss, and I'm going to make myself the, uh, the, the champion or general uh, or whatever you want to call me. And... Uh, I definitely didn't forget to get the items. Drops neutral shield piece, rope, blessed rope top, blessed rope skirt, and Sierra's blessing. Next up, we have the second uh, made-up custom god or whatever, Ola Uska. It's kind of just a play on Alaska. I have no real reason why. I just figured it was all ice themed, so YOLO. Uh, drops the neutral shield piece, Ridge's anchor. Ice Tyrant Torso and Ice Tyrant Legs. I still have some cleaning up stuff to do, like change the destroy option and whatnot, but you know, don't, worry, don't worry about that. So, uh, yeah. Next up, we have Tyroar, representing the god Saren. Goddess Saren, I guess. You know, Saren's a girl, I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it drops Lawful Shield Piece, Crystallized Gloves, and Hex Hunter Crossbow. Big Bear. Yeah. And then the last one we have Harold Thorg and Valuda, which drop Lawful Shield Piece, Staff of Balance, and Gatterhammer. Uh, I'm not going to talk about mechanics, but there is uh, when you when you defeat uh, Harold Thorg, it, it, you'll have to fight Valuda again, so or like separately. You'll you'll see. Think of it like Calfight Queen two forms. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And Guthix, if I didn't mention that, Guthix. Anyways, that is going to do it for the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, if you have any feedback at all, you can provide it. There is still time. But God Wars 2, the, the actual development, the hard coding, is about to um, start that process. And we're hoping to release towards the end of the month. That is the plan. I uh, will probably update you again at some point when we're um, closer to having, you know, a lot more things to show. Uh, but again, uh, uh, yeah, if you have any feedback, please give it to us. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.